right welcome back it's seeker again with another video this time i'm going to be reviewing a mugen game called mortal kombat new chaotic era uh let me put it up on the screen there you guys go uh so first let me see if i can put up or put down the volume here. I don't want it to be too stinking loud. Uh, let's see, hold on. Let's put the volume down here. This, this is atrociously loud. Killing my ear. All right. So let's look at the roster first. So, so this game has about 197 plus characters, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you're gonna have a lot of variations of the same characters. Uh, every character plays differently. Uh, while still retaining its original you know, movesets and des uh, certain designs. Uh, for example, here you have MK1 Scorpion. MK2 Scorpion. Three. Uh, from Mortal Kombat Shinobi. I don't even, I can't even read that. Chaotic Scorpion. Bloody Scorpion ultimate uh i usually main him hell scorpion we have tanya jade scarlet katana melina chameleon then you got sub-zero kui liang Shinobi Kwai Liang, Bihan, Reptile, Ermac, Rain, Male Chameleon, Noob Cybot, <laughs> Smoke, Cyber Smoke. So you have Human Cyrax and Cyber Cyrax, Human Sector and Robot Sector. You got Sector, I mean, sorry, Tremor, Human Hydro, huh, a lot of Cyber Ninjas. You have Triborg, apparently. I haven't tried that one yet. Oh, yes, yeah, so you have a Sheborg. It's a female version of Triborg. Liu Kang, Zombie, Dark Emperor, God of Fire, Kung Lao, Johnny, Sonya. See, people say Sonia, but I think the the correct pronunciation would be Sonya. Uh, Chaotic, Jax, Striker. Nightwolf, Raiden. This Raiden's badass, I'm not gonna lie. Coral Raiden, essentially. Oops. Sindel, Shiva, Baraka, Kano, Cabal, Jarek, Kai, Reiko, Fujin, Tenchi, Boraicho, Frost, Limei, Natara, Ashra, Mavado, Hus, Al, Hus Al, Hus Al, I guess How, Hus How, Su How. My bad. Ugh, my pronunciations are shit. <laughs> uh, Draman, Shujinko, Kronika, Garrus, my boy, 
Sujin, 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 Engine, I guess. Does he go broom, broom, broom? No, bad joke, I guess. Onero. This is basically uh, Sector's dad. Uh, I can't read that. Kai, or Kia, rather. Serena, Photo, Devora, Fur and Tor, Aaron, Takeda, Jackie, Classic Cage, uh, Cassie Cage, sorry. Uh, Dagon, Haven, Kira, Cobra, Darius, Hotaru, Dairo, Havoc, another Havoc, Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, Goro, Kintaro, Motaro, ooh, that looks kind of badass, Shao Kahn, Shinnok, there's a demon version of Shinnok. There's two actually. Okay, cool. Onaga, Blaze, Goro's dad, uh, Belloc, Meat. Better stop playing with your meat. Hello. Bad joke again. Mocap, Sang, Shadow Priest. I don't know what the. F I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Aqua, Hornbuckle, Slime, Contagion, Chrome, The Sandman, Bison. You know what? I'm just going to stop saying the names. It's giving me a headache. I'll just let you guys. Oop. I messed up here. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's female versions as well. Scorpy, Frosty, even though there's already Frost, but okay. They could have just made that into a male, but then that would have been sub zero. Uh, Lizzie, Smokey, Boob, Cybot. Yes, out of all the things, because she's female, her name is Boob Cybot. It's not noob, newbie. It's Boob Cybot. Yeah, there's a lady contagion, uh, contagion, which is her. She wolf. There's Ruby, which should come to MK1, you know, Ed Boone. Uh, I know you're allergic to females, but you should bring Ruby into Mortal Kombat 1. Oh, uh, yeah, Evil Sonia from uh, MK1, funny. Uh, characters that don't belong here. Well, this one belongs here. Yeah, Mike Tyson. Yeah, I'm just skipping these because I don't really care about them that much. They're not Mortal Kombat, so. I mean, it's kind of funny that they're here, but, you know, Shaggy's here. He's only using one. I'm only using 1% of my power, man. <laughs> Jackie Chan. And then... Yeah, Dragon Ball Z, no. Uh, if you go lower, there's more ninjas, actually. Well, more characters in general. Here's Cassie again. If you go down lower, you'll see more characters. Because Smokey and Boob Saibot weren't enough, they had to make more female versions of them. Smoke at a new bet. Laura Croft. <laughs> Ricardo Milo's. I'm dead. Venom. More ninjas. Well, cyber ninjas anyway. Characters I don't care about again. And that's it.
There's your hundred and something characters. Uh, it's a big roster. Sorry to have to put you guys through that, but it was the only way to make sure that you guys understood how many characters are in this game. Now, if we go take that, if we go and take that to battle, I'll show you a version of battle between me and the character, and then I'll sh let you watch, basically, I'll let you watch the game play on its own. Uh, so you got your regular punches, you got your kicks, and you got your block and run. And the crazy part about this game that I honestly did not expect is the mere fact that the game really literally allows you to combo into things. For example, um, I'm not going to play a Sub-Zero. So if I wanted to, let's say... I'll try that again. Sorry. See? You can combo into that. Uh, you can do very different things. Uh, what else can you do here? Let me see. So, if I wanted to, I can do... So, if I wanted to do that, I can do this. I can throw you. I can do that. Yep, I can do this. I can throw you. I can tell you to get the hell over here. You like those amazing... You guys like those amazing combos? Um, yeah. Uh, stuff like that. Um, what I'll do is essentially let it play in the background. There's a lot of stages here. Uh, the AI can basically learn how you fight, essentially. And as they learn how you fight, for example, if we fight one opponent and the opponent before that uh, will transfer to the next AI and the next AI will know exactly how you play and will counter you every time, which is fun. It's not a bad thing. It's actually pretty fun. Um, but yes, uh, it's not a bad game for sure. Uh, Uh, it's fun. It could be aggravating, but the fact that it has uh an AI that can you know give you an actual challenge and and this is only on medium settings. Can you imagine on super hard? You can do combos. You can combo into things that you usually can't in a regular Mortal Kombat three game. You have aggressor mode. Uh, you have a whole bunch of characters. Your characters can do fatalities. There you go. Speaking of fatalities, uh, you'll have very different variations of each character, essentially. Um, I'm going to let this stuff fight on the background. But, yeah. Uh, it's not It's not a bad game it's fun it has a lot of characters that you can uh enjoy let's put another character here let's put a a fan character in here let's put him against boob saiba here
but yeah, it has a lot of stages. You have a lot of fatalities as well. Uh, it's just an overall fun for the game. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, it's a 12 gig game. Uh, and yeah, I give this probably an 8 out of 10. It's not bad. But there are some characters that don't feel finished. There's That's one problem. Some characters don't really feel finished. Some characters are amazing. Uh, but yeah. I would like to see people make more characters and more ninjas and female ninjas as well. Uh, the character selection is, is awesome. More than I would want, but hey look it's there if you want it something you know that nrs apparently can't do they're too poor for that or rather allergic to making new characters especially more ninja characters or well, there we go there's a fatality right there oops i about looks more like a venom character a symbiote character from uh from spider-man but yeah yeah this this is uh again mortal Kombat, new chaotic realm or new chaotic era i'm sorry misspoke uh and and it's fun you guys should try it download it i can't figure out who was the original person who created this uh but make sure to give them credit uh and yeah and just enjoy the game uh if mortal kombat 1 isn't doing it for you which i know it's not doing it for most of you including myself because that game kind of sucks then you know download some mugen mortal kombat uh they know what we want and these are free uh these people are fans just like us and they know we have an insatiable lust for characters stages uh fatalities combos and etc and so far this one delivers so again it's an eight out of ten there's some characters that don't work right uh quite well and there's some bug issues of course with some characters but overall it's a good game it's fun it's fast paced you have you know tag mode where you can help each other were assists i believe and you also have uh 2b2 simultaneously uh you simultaneously sorry i can't pronounce the word uh simultaneously can fight two versus two so there's gonna be four people on screen fighting so two people versus two people it's chaotic as hell <laughs> yeah you know pun on the name uh you can play 1v1 you can play 2v2s and you can play tag uh which basically two characters will basically have two different health bars for example Imagine getting whooped by Boob Cybot. Yeah. I think I messed up somewhere. Oh, okay. So it's turn. So essentially, I picked the two two of the same characters like an idiot so there we go i'm not gonna edit that out you guys can watch me uh mess up so this is essentially two of the game modes 
One of them is essentially, um, you know, playing the turn tag team mode, and then the other one is a double team simultaneously. See, here's Chrome. So you could basically handicap yourself into a match, which is not a good idea, but, you know, you guys get it. Boop, Cybot, and Scorpy. But yeah, it, 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 like I said, it's fun. Um, try it out. It's free. I know Mortal Kombat 1 is not doing very well, uh, but these games will definitely help. And if you're a PC player and you want to play on your remote, you can uh, download certain software by go, uh, YouTube searching, and it will help uh, basically integrate your PlayStation 5 remote like I play with onto your PC so you can use it for Mugen. It's the same thing with Xbox, but now Xbox is more of a microsoft thing anyway so it works so basically here here's how i do it um you don't you want to take that advantage of that's not what i wanted to do anyway so when you have your remote on you come to here and you go to input config and you enable it and then you go there and it should tell you your remote uh inputs but i can't currently do that because i don't have my controller my controller is not inside the pc yet uh i have it disconnected so yeah currently just using the keyboard uh but yeah you can even change the keyboard as well and uh if you wanted to sorry excellent so yeah so you know these are my keyboard uh buttons And yeah, you can control everything from here. You can have the game be faster. You can put a time limit when you want it to be one or not. Uh, you can put your life. You can put difficulty up to hard eight. There's games that have hard 10. So yeah, be careful. You have a survival mode. You got co-op. So you can play with a friend. Uh, there's no online in this one. I know there, there's one that might have online. I know Mugen's been working on online for some quite for quite some time. I don't know if they ever, um, you know, ever got it down. But yeah, uh, this is my review. Again, I give it an eight out of ten. Uh, just try it out. It's free. You got nothing to lose, and it's on PC. Though, uh, you have to understand that before you download it, it is a 12 gigabyte game due to the fact there's a lot of characters. I uh, think 197 plus or so, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Uh, thanks again for coming here. Thanks again for watching my videos. Thank you for supporting me with likes, subscribes, and comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Whether you agree or disagree, there's no problems there. As long as you're respectful in the comment section, I don't mind. Uh, please share if you can. And enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks again for watching. Seekers out.